Hello friends, welcome to Science Land. I am Nikita and today we are going to talk about localization of PHA synthesis in plants. But before starting the video, I request you to subscribe to my channel. It really means a lot to me because it motivates me and don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you get notified whenever I upload a new video. Thank you so much. Let's start. PHA synthesis, PHA as in the polyhydroxy alkanoids, it's a kind of biodegradable bioplastic which is naturally produced by certain microorganisms. Okay, when you are trying to make this compound in a restricted area or you try to localize the synthesis in a particular area, it is known as localization of PHA synthesis and this area is generally in a plant cell. Okay. Let's consider two situations, the bacteria producing PHA, plant producing PHA. Now my only intention is to obtain PHA at mass level so that I can make profit out of it. If I consider this bacteria, I will take these specialized bacteria, I will create an artificial system so that in this system the bacteria will produce PHA at mass level. This artificial system is known as bioreactor. Apart from this, there are certain factors, amount and variety of food supply. It's a specialized bacteria. It will be requiring food, right? I need to supply that food. Sterility, optimization of the growth conditions. All these factors I need to take care of so that my compound, which is PHA, is produced at mass level. Now, if I go with this option, the entire process is too expensive and it is not an environmental friendly option. On the other hand, if I use a plant, to produce my compound, the plant itself is a natural system. I am not making any system for the plant to produce PHA. It is based on certain factors, water, mineral salts, carbon dioxide and light. All these are readily available in the environment. So this option becomes cheap and environmental friendly. Okay, plants. Now these have certain advantages. They have acetyl coenzyme as a major metabolite. Acetyl coenzyme is the primary substrate from that particular compound you can produce PHA. The acetyl coenzyme A is generally or readily available in plants so you can easily make PHA. Simple. They don't degrade PHA. Now there are certain bacteria they release certain kind of enzymes which degrade the PHA. If my product of interest PHA is reduced I would not be happy with it, right? So plants don't degrade the PHA. Third, they have cellular compartments which are rich in acetyl coenzyme A. There are certain areas in a plant cell, these areas are like restricted, wherein the acetyl coenzyme A is already present and it is sufficiently present to produce PHA. Cytoplasm, plastids, peroxisomes, mitochondria, which we will be talking about in a minute. Okay, so now we will be talking about few of the cellular compartments which are used to make PHA. Okay, the very first one is cytoplasm. Cytoplasm was actually the first cellular compartment which was used to produce PHA. So the first experimental work was carried out in the cytoplasm of Arabidopsis thaliana. Now this is a plant obviously and in the cytoplasm of this plant the first experiment to produce PHA was carried out. The beta ketothiolase enzyme is actually present in the cytoplasm. So if you know the biosynthesis of the PHB which is the common and the most basic PHA you know that there are three enzymes which are required beta ketothiolase, acetoacetyl coenzyme A reductase and the PHB synthase. So in the cytoplasm of the plant, the first enzyme beta ketothiolase is already present. So out of three, you will be requiring the other two enzymes only which needs to be integrated in the plant. The beta ketothiolase vector would not be required basically. Low growth and reduced seed production was observed in certain species. Why? Because the acetyl coenzyme A and acetoacetyl coenzyme A deficiency was found. Now, generally also plant requires these two compounds. Why? For plant hormone and sterol biosynthesis. Now, if you are taking the compound, both the 
एसेटल को एंजाइम है एंड एसेटो एसेटल को एंजाइम है टू प्रोड्यूस द पी एच ए देर विल बी लो ग्रोथ एंड रेड्यूस्ड सीड प्रोडक्शन नाउ सेकेंड इज द प्लास्टिड्स प्लास्टिड्स आर लाइक अ साइट टू प्रोड्यूस फैटी एसिड यू आर प्रोड्यूसिंग फैटी एसिड मीनिंग देर इज अ लॉड ऑफ एसेटल को एंजाइम है इन दैट पर्टिकुलर कंपार्टमेंट द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ प्लास्टिड्स इज सच दैट नेचुरली इट स्टोर्स अ लॉट ऑफ स्टार्च मॉलिक्यूल्स स्टार्च इज अ वेरी लार्ज मॉलिक्यूल बाय द वे सो यू कैन इजिली स्टोर द पी एच ए कंपाउंड इन प्लास्टिड्स नाउ the disadvantages it is not stocked with beta ketothiolase because beta ketothiolase is present in the cytoplasm so basically you have to integrate all the three gene vectors so that the plastid would produce pha okay but despite this disadvantage it is used to produce phb and phbv the most preferred compartment for synthesis of PHA in plants is actually plastids it's the most efficient compartment to produce PHA in plants now the third one is the peroxisomes now peroxisomes is very crucial site for beta oxidation of fatty acids meaning you have a fatty acid and the fatty acid is going to break down if it is an even number of fatty acid it will give rise to acetyl coenzyme if it is an odd number of fatty acid it will also give rise to propionyl coenzyme okay these both are actually the substrate for pha so that is one advantage the second advantage is in the peroxisomes the reducing species like nadh nadph are present now there are three steps generally condensation reduction and polymerization for reduction you need certain reducing agents which are nadh nadph these both species are present in peroxisomes so that is an advantage okay and the only disadvantage is incorporation of all the three essential genes which are usually used in biosynthesis of pha directly into the peroxisomes is a little bit difficult so these are the cellular compartments which are used to localize the pha synthesis in plants that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching bye bye